All right. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys are all doing well. It's so good to be back in the saddle. Um, been out of town for a few days, had the opportunity to go visit some family, had some pretty big occasions come up with some family. So exciting to get a chance to connect and visit family after all the craziness that we had last year with COVID and everything. It's really awesome to just get out. But anyway, getting back into the content, I'm so excited to talk about Cardano. There are so many amazing things happening with this project. Recently, what we've seen is a lot of developments happening with non-fungible tokens. We're seeing a lot of anticipation for what's to come with Gogan and smart contracts. We've got the Plutus Pioneers program taking effect right now. So people are getting the training necessary to start writing these applications right out of the gate as soon as we see smart contracts. So just giving you all some of my thoughts also on some of the projects that we're seeing started to spring up on Cardano. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, talk, maybe a little bit of controversy related to some of these projects. So just giving you my two cents about what are some best practices as it relates to investing in some of these projects. Of course, you guys know not financial advice, but nonetheless, just wanted to share with you all my opinions. So if you guys do find some information valuable from this type of content, make sure you hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you know exactly when I post a new video. If you guys do decide to support us with all this content that we are producing, please do consider delegating to any of the Kaizen stake pools. We operate Kaizen, Krishna, Kronos, and Kobe stake pool, and would greatly appreciate your support by delegating. So to get things started, what we're seeing right now, a lot of talk around NFTs, a lot of the excitement happening around the ERC-20 converter. So this is a big development. This has been in the works now for a while. So what you have with Cardano is essentially a way for backwards compatibility with these Ethereum tokens. So Ethereum at its current state is pretty much unusable. You know, if you go and try and send a transaction with the token value of about $50, you are most likely going to end up paying more in transaction costs just to send those tokens. So it doesn't make any economical sense. You can't even use the blockchain for what's intended uses. So that's where Ethereum is at right now. What Cardano is doing is addressing this problem. What they did was they started with scientific research, peer review, they built the correct foundations from the ground up. And what they're doing now is they're getting to release that iteration that is going to allow for applications to be built on Cardano. With this also, they're going to have the ability to convert Ethereum ERC-20 tokens into Cardano native assets. So you're going to have all the benefits of having your Ethereum tokens, uh, but you'll have the ease of use, the scalability, the low cost to transact with Cardano. So you're going to have a lot of benefits there with this ERC-20 converter. I think it's going to be a game changer. And I think what it's going to do, it's going to ultimately suck up a lot of value that we're seeing currently on Ethereum and migrating that over onto Cardano. So lots of opportunities there. That's a big one. I'm excited about that. And also these non-fungible tokens. We're seeing right now a lot of projects coming about. We actually launched our own Kaizen NFT, so really excited about that. I put a lot of work and effort into building our team. Uh, our team has also been working really hard, so thank you to everybody who has been contributing to this project. You know, There's a lot of work that's gone into this. The artwork that we've put out, we really do pride ourselves in the quality of the artwork, uh, and we really do appreciate any feedback from the community. So lots of cool stuff regarding that, but NFTs don't necessarily have to be specific to artwork. You know, one thing I'm really excited about is when we do start to see this digital ID functionality with solutions such as Atala Prism, you're going to have things that represent tokens, uh, but are actually real world items, right? So you have, let's say, tokenized real estate, or let's say with a digital identity, you have a tokenized uh, form of land registration, right? You have some type of token that's converted onto Cardano and it equates to real world value. Uh, with whatever asset that it's representing. So there's so many things to think about as it comes to these NFTs. It doesn't have to be specifically artwork, uh, but what we're going to see is the true potential of Cardano being realized when we do see smart contracts. So Alonzo is going to be the network upgrade that takes place later this year, hopefully by end of July, maybe early August. It's hard to say an exact date, but of course, I will be sure to keep you guys updated with that information. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow for applications to be written on Cardano. So when you combine all of these things that we were talking about, you've got these non-fungible tokens, 
you've got the ERC20 converter, you've got solutions that bring about digital identity, such as Atala Prism, and you combine all that with the functionality of these applications built on Cardano, you're really setting yourself up to be the fastest horse in the race. I'm so excited about everything that's happening. You guys know we've been following Cardano for years, and it's amazing that for all that time, you know, we've been talking about these developments. It's been in the works. We've been anticipating this. And here we are, we're in a position now where we're starting to see these things actually being realized. Um, so it's amazing. I'm stoked for it. It's just so cool to see all the things that are being built. Some of the projects that are coming out on Cardano right now are things such as uh, Sunday Swap. You know, I saw a lot of these DEXs starting to get promotion and advertised. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new and innovative ways of raising funds that these new projects are coming up with, such as an initial stake pool offering. Uh, you've got other ways of raising capital, like a token sale. Um, OCAM Phi had an IDO. Pretty much what they did was they launched an ERC-20 token. They used that to raise capital. And then what they're going to do is they're going to migrate that ERC-20 token over onto Cardano. So things like that, I want to just share with you all some of my thoughts on in this video as well. Um, recently, I watched an interview with Big Pay and Pi from Sunday Swap. So talking more about the initial stake pool offering, essentially what they're going to do with that is create a stake pool for Sunday delegators. So anybody who wants to earn these Sunday tokens would simply have to delegate to the stake pool. But the caveat with that is that they're going to set their margin to a point where you're actually giving up your rewards paid in ADA. And in turn, you're receiving these Sunday tokens. So that's a very simplified way to look at it. But you know, for me, and what I'm thinking with something like that is if you're going to delegate your entire ADA amount that you have to this pool, you're pretty much giving up all of your rewards in exchange for this token that could potentially be worth zero, right? So there is certainly a risk in doing that. So for people who are looking at things like this, you know, this is just what I'm thinking, of course, not financial advice. If you're interested in that, maybe it would be wise to create a separate wallet where you have a small portion of your ADA delegated to this pool where you're not losing 100% of your ADA rewards, you're still able to earn majority of your rewards because you still have that delegated to a pool that's charging a reasonable fee. But let's say if you did wanna still earn those Sunday tokens by delegating to their stake pool and participating in their initial stake pool offering, you, know, you would have a small allocation where you're losing your ADA rewards, but you are still earning those tokens. So those are just some things that I'm thinking about as it relates to approaching some of these projects. A lot of these fundraising methods are still so new. You got to be careful. You know, a lot of the a lot of the reason why I haven't been putting out content right away on some of these platforms is because I don't want to promote something on the channel that ends up leading people to lose lots of money. That is the last thing I want to do. So what I'm trying to do here is share with you all my thoughts on some of these projects that I've seen and what I'm thinking about. And I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment section. As it relates to another project that I saw was the uh, Ocam Phi. Uh, they pretty much have this DeFi solution, an all-encompassing DeFi solution for Cardano. The one thing that rubbed me the wrong way with that project is that they launched, but they launched their token sale on Ethereum. Right, So they were talking about having all these things ready to go for Cardano, but they couldn't wait for smart contracts. Even though Cardano already has native token support, they still launched their token on Ethereum. So that, for me, raised a red flag. Of course, I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm just sharing with you all my opinion. You know, It would have made more sense if they were to have launched a Cardano native token, had their token sale, and then as far as the distribution, even if they did need smart contracts for that to happen, at least tell the community, hey, we're going to do the distribution after smart contracts. That would have made a lot more sense to me, uh, but those are just some of the things that I'm looking at. So be cautiously optimistic about a lot of these projects that are coming about. Uh, of course, you guys know I'm keeping my eyes on these. Um, I'm trying to formulate my own opinion before getting out there and recommending any type of project because the last thing, again, that I want to do is promote something that causes people to lose money. So that's not what we're trying to do. We are trying to do the exact opposite. We're trying to grow and learn together. So that's the purpose for this video. Just wanted to get back in the groove of things. It's so nice to be back and uh, producing content again on a regular basis. We're actually going to have the opportunity to speak with a few projects that are coming up 
on Cardano that I'm very passionate about. So if you guys do want to stay tuned for that, make sure you hit that subscribe. It really does mean a lot. We recently passed over 20,000 subscribers. So a big thank you to each and every one of you. I'm really glad to be on this journey with you guys. All right, everyone. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do hope that you enjoy the rest of your afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.